Well, it's something that I've been predicting for a little while now, and that's that the all hell is going to break loose shortly within the Labour Party, with, of course, some absolutely dismal set of election results recently. Hartlepool, the horrendous opinion poll figures, and the personal opinion poll figures of Keir Starmer are pretty diabolical all round. I thought you might see some impetus, some oomph from Starmer after that diabolical Labour performance in Hartlepool. But really, what have they done since? Absolutely naff all from what I've seen. And increasing talk now that with the Batley and Spen by-election, of course, fast approaching next week, if Labour were to lose that seat, then you could really see a real pressure on Keir Starmer, a formal leadership challenge. Perhaps he could even resign, though that does seem quite unlikely at the moment. But for a leadership challenge to take place, it only requires 20% of Labour MPs, which would mean, given the size of the Labour parliamentary party has shrunk, uh, that they would, that, that means about 40 signatures, so 40 MPs. Just consider the fact then that 34 uh, MP, Labour MPs are in what's described as the Socialist Campaign Group. We'll get back to those in a second. But yeah, this Batley and Spen by-election being viewed as a, a referendum effectively on Starmer's leadership. So with that in mind, there are a couple of reports today with names of potential Labour MPs who could be in the mix to take over, the likes of Angela Rayner, Lisa Nandy and Yvette Cooper. Interestingly enough, the Telegraph have done a story profiling Dawn Butler as a potential leadership contender. And that 34 strong socialist campaign group, it's being reported, could potentially be prepared to back the MPs within that group. Now, the speculation surrounding Dawn Butler has grown so ferocious that she actually uh, responded with a quote saying, like many MPs, I travelled up to Batley this week to support Kim Ledbetter and work for a Labour win. I have never been and never will be part of a coup against the Labour leader, have no interest in standing against Keir. Labour needs to improve. And that was clear for some of the doorstep conversations. But that is up to the current leadership to put right. So will we see Labour lose that Batley and Spend by-election? Well, the poll that came out did have the Conservatives ahead. We do know that George Galloway there seems to have gained some traction. You never quite know, of course, what ultimately is going to happen in a by-election. But the fact is that if Starmer and his Labour Party can't win in Hartlepool, they were trounced in places like Tees Valley, uh, places like the West Midlands and the recent mayoral contests. They followed that up with their worst ever by-election result. And if they were then to lose Batley and Spen, it does seem to me at least, you could then see a leadership challenge to Keir Starmer and the Labour Party. And I want to know from you, would any of the names I've talked about, would any of those candidates make you more likely to vote for the Labour Party or not? Do let me know in the comments below, guys. Let me know what you think is going to happen at the by-election as well. What's your prediction? And as ever, if you enjoyed this video, do give it a quick thumbs up. Make sure you hit the join button. See the link in the top pinned comment if you want to support my channel. would really appreciate it. And of course, as ever, thanks for watching.